Let's start by installing the ratings and reviews extension. So we can do that by hovering over gravity kit here and clicking products and licenses. So from this page, we can manage our licenses and install, activate and uh, update gravity kit plugins. So let's click on the not install tab here and scroll down to ratings and reviews and click install now. Okay, so that's been installed and activated. Okay, great. So now you can navigate to your view where you want to add uh, ratings or reviews functionality. Okay, so I've got a view here displaying business listings. And here I am inside the view editor. So if I just scroll down here to the settings, you'll see there's a new tab here on the left called ratings and reviews. So if I click on that, I need to enable entry reviews. So I'll do that. And here there are a few other options to configure. So first up is the review type. You can choose between a upvote downvote system or a five star rating system. So next you have the option to limit uh, the number of reviews per person to only one. So it means that the same person can't leave uh, multiple reviews uh, for a single entry. You can also hide the ratings field if you only want to display um, written reviews and you don't want uh, ratings. And then you can allow empty review text. And this option has to be enabled if you decide to use the upvote downvote system. Okay. So let me scroll up and update the view. And we'll check it out here on the front end. Okay, so if I click through to the single entry page. All right, so here I am on the single entry page. And if I scroll down, here is the review form. And let's fill out a review quick. I can leave a rating out of five. Okay, and when I'm done, all I need to do is click post review. Okay, so there's my review, um, the title of my review, the text, and then the rating. Okay, so let's head back to the view editor to see how we can display reviews and ratings um, inside a view. So here I am in the view editor, and if I scroll down here and I add a new field, and I'll scroll down all the way to the bottom of the list. Here are all of the available ratings and reviews fields. So the first one, rate entry, allows us to add, um, well, it allows users to rate an entry from the multiple entries page. The stars rating field displays the star rating for that review. The votes rating displays the aggregate up down rating if you're using the upvote downvote system and the reviews link displays the ratings for that uh, entry and a link uh, to the reviews. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this field to our view. And we'll update. And we'll check it out here on the front end. All right, so as you can see, the first entry where we left a review, it's showing our rating five stars and a link to that review. And if we scroll down, these entries don't have uh, ratings or reviews yet. So as you can see, it's just displaying a link, no review be the first. All right, so if we just click through here, back to the single entry page, and there we go, there's my review.